If the Lakers want to make it back to the NBA Finals this year, they must avoid these free agents this offseason. At number 3, Alfred Payton. If Schroeder doesn't return, the Lakers will be left scrambling for quality options to soak up minutes at point guard. Payton has enjoyed some serviceful moments during his postseason career, but he's an awful stylistic fit with this team. The Lakers really need to find a lead guard who can really help them space the floor with his jump shooting ability. The ball isn't going to be in James's hands during crunch time, obviously, so acquiring a lead guard like Peyton who doesn't help the team spacing would be a misuse of funds by Palenka and his staff. At number 2, Victor Oladipo. Victor Oladipo is a huge name player who is hitting free agency at the wrong time. He struggled mightily with injuries over the past several seasons, and there is no guarantee he'll ever rediscover the form that made him a leading man back in his prime a couple years ago. He might enter this year's free agency with expectations of finding a pretty big deal, but it's pretty possible that Oladipo will be forced to accept a cheap, short-term deal designed to help him rebuild his value before hitting free agency again next summer. It's easy to envision a scenario where the Lakers and Oladipo decide that rolling the dice on one another makes a ton of sense, but he arguably has one of the highest ceilings of anyone available in free agency. Los Angeles may be tempted to give him a chance to rehab his value in the City of Angels, but the Lakers should pass on Oladipo because he would be an awkward fit with LeBron even if he does somehow play his best basketball again. He's never been a plus shooter and he thrives when he's permitted to operate with the ball just in his own hands. At best, he can help pilot the Lakers' second unit in the regular season, but at worst, it'll be a total waste of a roster spot. And finally at number 1, Dennis Schroeder. Dennis Schroeder has the Lakers' front office squarely positioned between a rock and a hard place this offseason. The team can exceed the salary cap significantly to re-sign him since he's their own free agent, but the team can't spend that same money on a player who wasn't on their roster last season. That reality will embolden Schroeder's representatives to ask for a mammoth contract from the Lakers. They'll do that despite the obvious reality that he didn't really live up to expectations for LA last year. The idea was that Schroeder could carry the offense while LeBron was on the bench, and he could still be a quality shooter when the game's ultimate playmaker was on the floor. But Schroeder struggled mightily in both of those roles. The Lakers might be tempted to bet on the 27-year-old to play better next year after becoming more comfortable with the team system, but it's still hard to imagine him becoming anything close to a positive contract. Instead, the Lakers should pursue a sign-in-trade for the German guard. That sort of move won't bring back a massive return for Los Angeles, but it will help maximize the return they can get for Schroeder. If he returns to the team next season, it's very hard to imagine the Lakers really enjoying a top-notch offseason. When they had the uh, defensive assignment against James, it's a slashing move inside. Schroeder gets it to go. But uh, he is still, they think, trying to get his feel for this offense. Kuzma remains, Drummond is in, sets a screen, and around it goes the terrific shooting. And, and Chris, I, I think uh, Monty Williams coming to Chris Paul's defense after game one. Yeah, that's right, Rez. I had a lengthy conversation with Monty Williams last night. With seven rebounds, he is 0 for 9 in his career in the playoffs. Bridges in, knocked away, good defensive play again by L.A. Kuzma with a, a drive and a terrific... So, what do you guys think? Make sure to comment below if I missed a player that the Lakers should not sign this offseason if they want to go back and win the NBA Finals. They already signed some huge name players this offseason like Russell Westbrook and Carmelo Anthony, so comment down below your thoughts on the Lakers signing those players and becoming a double super team. And most importantly, if you enjoyed what you saw today, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that post notification bell so that you never miss an upload. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.